I'm very glad you've chosen this room because I have an affection for it. It's not only one of the best rooms in the house, but happens to be the room where I had the very first meal when my father bought the house in 1904. It's a very beautiful room. If we can talk for a moment, uh, Sir Gordon, about your autobiography, what prompted you to write it? Well, mainly that um, I'm interested in making things. It was here that we really started a, a small repair shop for making furniture which led on to our other business and I just thought it was an interesting story. It seems strange that you should start the craft in Broadway where there were no craftsmen. No, no woodworking uh, craftsmen in making furniture, that's true. But um, we, my father started a very small workshop to repair things, old furniture for Ligon here when he bought it. From that, we went on after the first war. I wanted to make things, to make furniture, something really productive. And uh, we started making furniture entirely by hand, went on from there to series production, uh, a dozen or so, using a limited amount of machinery, and then later on produced quite a, a lot of uh, things, including uh, all the cabinets for Murphy Radio at one time, 40,001 model in this a is, separate factory. But this is mass production. How much did craftsmanship enter into this? Well, it entered into it quite a lot. We learned a great deal from the engineers who insisted on uh, very accurate um, machining, which I think is one of the really important things in making furniture. The, to the engineer, um, a sixteenth of an inch is a crevasse. I mean, he says, no, we work in thousands. You chaps will have to learn how to do that. Would you say that your early days here, your boyhood and upbringing at the Ligon, had any influence on your design in the future? Oh, completely, yes. Oh, I think the background, um, people's background has an enormous interest. I mean, the way uh, early railways were affected by the background of the engineers, nearly all their viaducts and buildings and so on were really very good. Today, you don't forget that. The towns um, are so indifferent. Well, we see some of your design of furniture some 40 years ago, some of the furniture you built 40 years ago, would stand up very well to the contemporary designs of today, wouldn't they? I, I think it will. I hope it would. I think you can, uh, you can always put um, good furniture of almost any age together. I feel this very strongly. Some of the most interesting houses are those which have got uh, a, a family has lived in for over quite a long time and people have added pieces of their own date. Are you concerned entirely these days with furniture for the for the house? Well, I'm very much concerned with Ligon Arms here. We've just been building a new wing, which um, you may have seen, which has got quite a lot of extra bedrooms. Uh, the wing itself has got a good deal of stone walling to relate it to a Cotswold building. It's also got a great deal of very carefully considered fitted furniture and um, it's got a, a large conference room because um, we're getting an increasing demand for conferences here. People seem to like to come to Broadway. You've also a considerable experience in making chairs, haven't you? I was thinking of Coventry Cathedral as an instance. Yes, we have. We made the um, 2,000 chairs there. I looked at them the other day and thought they were getting rather nicely uh, worn with the rubbing, you know, they improve with age. Uh, I think English oak is a wonderful word. Since then, of course, we've made quite a lot of others, including 800 for a synagogue in Chicago, which is interesting. And also conference tables, this sort of thing you're concerned with? Yes, we've just finished a um, um, conference table for the Royal Society, which we thought a great honor to be able to make, a very large one. Do you find much trouble these days in attracting the younger people into the craft of wood making? No, we have a waiting list of, um, of uh, people who um, would like to be apprenticed locally and we are a great believer that the important thing is to train local people rather than trying to import people, which in any case lands you up against great difficulties of housing and so on. Uh, no, we've got f uh, four apprentices. Um, who got the first, second, and third prize and sit in the guild and are highly commended, which we thought was rather good. Summing up, would you say that the uh, workmanship and design these days compares uh, with, say, 30 or 40 years ago when you first started? 
On the whole, I think there's been uh, quite a considerable improvement in design, certainly in furniture, and um, I think in other things too. Um, you haven't got to go very far to find bad furniture still. Sir Gordon Russell, thank you very much for talking to us in such beautiful surroundings.